From Hollywood. Right, let's go again. It's the Tom Likas Show. Let's not take a f- minute. Let's go again. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Well, Barack Obama's already in trouble. Uh, oh, wow. This from the New York Times, which will decide for you which news is fit to print. That is, if anybody's reading the print edition anymore. Here it is from the New York Times, Dateline Washington. Tom Daschle withdrew his name on Tuesday as President Obama's nominee to lead the Health and Human Services Department. A startling decision that came only hours after the withdrawal of another candidate for a high White House office. Mr. Daschle withdrew a day after Mr. Obama unequivocally declared that he would stand behind him as his problems over income tax arrears were scrutinized on Capitol Hill. The nominee's tax issues had developed into a troublesome distraction for the president, who entered the White House pledging to hold his people to the highest ethical standards. The president said he accepted Mr. Daschle's sudden withdrawal, quote, with sadness and regret. Later, in an interview on NBC's Nightly News with Brian Williams, Mr. Obama said he took responsibility for the Daschle episode. I'm here on television saying I screwed up. The president told Mr. Williams, the important thing the president went on is not trying to be free of mistakes, but, quote, it's owning up to them and trying to make sure you never repeat them. We'll get back to that quote in a second. Says here earlier Tuesday, the chief White House spokesman, Robert Gibbs, said Mr. Daschle had made his own decision to withdraw. He did not get a signal from the White House, Mr. Gibbs said. I wish he did. You didn't pay your taxes? <laughs> Maybe Obama should have whispered to the guys here, how about you just withdraw this nomination right now? You withdraw yourself from consideration. How about you just get yourself and get us off the hook here? Holy cow. Says here there was no suggestion either that President Obama had tried to persuade Mr. Daschle not to pull out, just as there was no hint that the president had tried to dissuade Nancy Killifer, his choice for chief White House performance officer, from withdrawing earlier in the day. She, too, cited tax arrears in her case, District of Columbia employment taxes. At a news briefing, Mr. Gibbs said they both decided that their nominations would distract. Ms. Killifer said Tuesday morning that a debate over her confirmation would create a distraction and delay the urgent agenda facing the administration. Words similar to those used by Mr. Daschle in canceling his candidacy for the cabinet post. Bill Burton, a White House spokesman, said Mr. Daschle would also step down from his position of White House health care czar, a post that did not need Senate confirmation. Mr. Gibbs said the White House was already looking for replacements for Mr. Daschle and Ms. Kellifer, and that the president remained confident in the administration's process for vetting candidates. Oy vey. Now, listen to this. Have you been paying attention to this Tom Daschle story? Probably not. Let me me clue you in, because I've been paying attention to it. From the New York Times, Mr. Daschle's decision to step aside came as a surprise on Capitol Hill, where Democratic senators had rallied behind him after he had expressed regret over his failure to pay how much? 150 bucks? 1700 bucks? $8,216? $8,216? bucks, 11412 But No, no. <laughs> he, 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 he 
he expressed regret over his failure to pay about $140,000 in taxes when they were due. <laughs> and on Monday, had vowed to press ahead. Uh, the national nomination is the highest level political casualty of the young Obama administration. Now, the story goes on, and I don't want to go into the story, but you know what? Here is an example of no matter how smart you think you are, you know, when you start attaining rock star status, you start thinking you can do anything and get away with anything. Now, I have, I supported Barack Obama, and I enjoyed watching the inaugural events just like you did, and uh, I have big hopes I am hoping that Obama can uh, can do some good things here. But I would say that not paying taxes is one of the primary things that should disqualify you from being considered for anything having to do with government. Taxes pay your salary. They pay President Obama's salary. They would pay Tom Daschle's salary. They They would pay the salaries of all of these people. Everybody who's been nominated for something. Timothy Geithner, the Treasury Secretary, he didn't pay his taxes either. Not paying your taxes should automatically... I mean, how can Obama back somebody who hasn't paid his taxes? How do you back anybody who hasn't paid their taxes? Seriously. Nancy Killifer. You didn't pay your unemployment taxes. What are you doing? What are you doing? And, and what is Obama doing nominating people who haven't paid their taxes? I thought this was supposed to be the most investigative vetting process, the most diligent vetting process ever done. That uh, we were not going to be having uh, the, uh, the, the, the even the hint of any taint on anybody. And now we find three people nominated for cabinet positions who have not paid their taxes. They have not paid taxes. You can't go into office telling people what to do, telling us that, for example, Tom Daschle, you can't go in there telling us we have to pay higher taxes to pay for people's health care when you didn't pay your own taxes. The minute Obama knew about this, he should have drop-kicked him through the uprights. What the hell was Obama thinking? Now he's saying he screwed up. Hey, you don't hold on to somebody who says they didn't pay their taxes. You can't raise taxes. You can't ask people to pay taxes for things if the people you're nominating aren't paying taxes. Am I wrong? No. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show on 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Three nominees of President Barack Obama now. I've had to... Uh, be grilled on whether or not they paid taxes. One was approved, Timothy Geithner, Secretary of the Treasury. Two others had to step aside. Tom Daschle didn't pay $140,000 in taxes. What the hell is that? Doesn't that automatically disqualify you? What is that all about? It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, I'm a short-time listener, first-time caller. Thank just you. To, no problem. Just want to tell you that uh, I agree with you 100%. Obama should have done a better check, background check on these guys. And if he knew about it, they should have been cut right well, away. Well, that's There's the thing. No All right, let's say you did a lousy background check. The minute you know about it, that's when you say, I'm pulling the rug out front of this guy. Totally agree with you. There's no reason why they should be there if they owe taxes. It's, I mean, Obama said totally he was standing behind Tom Daschle. What for? No idea why. And Timothy Geithner should not be the Secretary of the Treasury. You can't be up there, to, you know, auditing people at the IRS and telling people you want more money out of out, 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 out of anybody, raising anybody's taxes, whatever, when you don't pay the taxes yourself. Yep. 
Don, you do me a favor. Can you take out Michael Phelps' star with a bong hit? Yes, I can tell. Well, we have the whole production now. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Omar on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Father. How are you? Doing great. Oh. Uh I'm calling to say just to agree with you that I think you're very much right that these people should not be even be, be able to be in office and um, telling us what to do, yet they can't pay their own damn taxes. Here we are, you know, working, paying our taxes, yet they're telling us what we can and what we cannot supposed to do. I don't think that's right at all. Not only is it not right, is it right to nominate people who don't pay their taxes? No. If you didn't know they didn't pay their taxes, when you find out, is it right to say, well, I'm going to stand behind Tom Daschle and we'll just see what happens? I mean, come on. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Well, I just want to call and um, agree with you. Uh, could you take me out, Kobe Bryant style, please? Yes. Yes, Omar, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. Mary on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, I just wanted to call and say I totally agree with you, and I think that Obama should get rid of the person that's doing the background checks on these, on these people that he's nominating. Well, I agree with that. What here's what troubles me. We all know Timothy Geithner didn't pay his taxes, and he's now the Treasury Secretary. Yeah. I mean, Obama didn't reach out and say, no, no, get out the Treasury Secretary. You're a deadbeat. He yeah. didn't reach down to Tom Daschle and say, you know what, $140,000 in taxes? Too bad there's no debtor's prison anymore, pal. Just step out of the way. I totally agree with you. Uh, you know, I'm a police officer here in Southern California, and I do backgrounds, and we would never hire anybody that has not paid their taxes. Deadbeats, deadbeats. De Obama nominates deadbeats and then stands behind them. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm very disappointed. I, I was in total support of Obama, but this is really disturbing. It's very disturbing, Mary. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Is this the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or convicted felon? Yes. You mind if I give out your telephone number, Dad? They're going to need it. They already know it. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Jill on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Uh, I'm, I'm a supporter. I was, or I, I guess I'm still a supporter of uh, the president, but, I mean, I voted for him, but this whole tax thing is very disappointing, and it makes you kind of wonder about his credibility. Uh, it's getting, going down the tubes. I mean, and you kind of wonder, well, how much did he really know? I mean, did he really know about all this tax I, stuff but here's, going the, on? here's the thing. That I, all right, let's say you can't know everything about a person or that the person doing the vetting didn't do a good job. Okay. When you find out, don't you reach down and say, uh uh, uh, Timothy Geithner, come back. Step back. Step back from Congress here. Step back from the panel. You, you, you're not the Treasury Secretary. You're not the Secretary of anything. I, I, you know what I think is the reason maybe why they let him go through is because it's such a vital, you know, part of the, the cabinet with, you know, the whole ec economy like it is. Well, so why don't you just hire Irwin Schiff uh, or some other tax protester to be the Treasury Secretary? I don't know. I, stupid. I, you know, I, I think that they probably just figured he was so such an important person to put through that they... Uh, they didn't say especially important not to have a deadbeat in that office, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I pay my taxes. I mean, do you understand, and, uh, do you understand the Treasury Secretary, the Treasury Secretary oversees uh, uh, the, the, uh, the IRS. And so this is the guy in charge of ordering you to make sure you paid your taxes. Yeah, it's, it's really... You can't have the guy horrible. in charge of the IRS not paying his own taxes. You can't. But guess what? He is. Uh, he's, they, they really have lost credibility. I don't know... Um, you can't go up there with, 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 with Tom Daschle and say, we're going to remake health care and we're going to have nationalized health care for everybody and we're going to raise your taxes to pay for it. And then you find out the guy who's, who's going to raise your taxes hasn't paid $140,000 of his own taxes. 
He's not going to get the Republicans to help him out if this if he has one more of that. I think that they, they I think this should be it. I mean, there should be no more anyone being nominated that uh, has. But any I, I, I can even look. I can live with the idea that you nominate somebody and then you find something yeah. out about them later. But you don't go up there and say, "Well, I'm going to stand behind this guy." Well, the you got you. Barack Obama, <laughs> Barack Obama, who wants to raise taxes, wants to spend a trillion dollars taxpayer money. You can't nominate people who don't pay their taxes. I'm sorry. Can, can he not see the irony in that? Well, it just seems kind of crazy that everyone that they've been putting, trying to nominate, has tax problems. That's, I mean, in, in with this economy, how could they even think of you know, letting? I, I mean. I, I know, know. you, you want to, if you that. want, by the way, if you want, <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you want deadbeats to nominate uh, for uh, cabinet positions, I know plenty of people who don't pay their bills who make uh, great uh, cabinet members. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's just, it's just, I, I, I just, it boggles the mind what goes on in this world. I mean, it just, you, you try to be logical and it just doesn't work. You're right about that. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Listen, Hi. if this wasn't so sad, this would be so hilarious. Uh, Bush is starting to shine, huh? Within the next, within two, three weeks of this bozo in this office, he's already making so many blunders. And you know what? Have you ever had a dog and a cat? That uh, basically. Well, first of all, I, I wouldn't say he's made so many blunders. I mean, uh, what, he's made the same blunder three times. It's only th- three weeks he's made many blunders, but let me just. Well, say what this. are the other blunders? Tell us what those are. Oh, please. Oh, please. I'm listening. Go ahead. Here's your opportunity. Okay, you asked the question. The question is. Uh, I, no, I, you know the question I asked. Don't stop killing time. Stop filibustering and tell me the other mistakes. Go ahead. Okay, hiring payback Hillary Clinton. Clinton did not deserve that. Do you know this was well, a backdoor deal in Feinstein? Well, home? if you can prove that, I I, I would oh, like to see baby. it. All right, all right, I'll tell that, you what. Tell us your first and last name. And tell us your first and last name and where you got the information. And we'll be happy to break your story on the air. Let me just say no. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Rachel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. First time, long time. Cool. Very excited to be talking to you. As well you should be. But thank you for taking my call. This this has just really stirred up the, the irritation in me. And, and I must say, I find it embarrassing that, you know, the man that we have elected as, as our top official is going to stand behind a decision, you know, to your point, now that he has more information, he's still going to stand behind this decision, and it just blows my mom. Timothy and Geithner, who did not pay his taxes, is in charge of the U.S. Treasury. And the IRS is part of the U.S. Treasury. Tom, and please tell me, these people who don't pay their taxes, oops. Um, and then, and then, and uh, then they think that by paying them once they got caught, that, that makes it okay. But then they say that they're sorry and everything then is, is under the rug and it's back to business as usual. Right. I, I just disagree. I, I don't understand where this sense of entitlement comes in that there are rules that are meant to govern, you know, everyone within this country. It's your civil duty to pay your taxes. That's what makes this country work. And as you pointed out earlier, this is what's paying these boobs' salary is all of our taxes. Under what circumstances do you feel so entitled where these rules don't apply to you? It just blows my mind. Totally right, Rachel. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the telephone number. Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm glad you're fired up about this. Why, I have a couple of quick questions for you. Why, uh, one, why does it take a cabinet appointment to find out that these guys haven't paid their taxes? How many guys are not paying their taxes that are senators or congressmen? Why a cabinet appointment? Well, you wonder how many people aren't paying their taxes, period. Now, you can't blame that. On, uh, on Obama, he's only been in a couple of weeks, but you gotta wonder. If this many people appointed to positions haven't paid their taxes and also thus far have gotten away with it, how many Americans are not paying their taxes and getting away with it? 
Now, I'm thinking more how many politicians, but okay, more how many Americans. And the other question I wanted to ask was, was uh, wh why is it taking them so long to bump them? I mean, what, what if, if, if when the truth comes out, why is it not that day? Why is he taking off the list? Well, beyond that, why, <laughs> why does Obama as he did with Tom Daschle, say he's going to stand behind the nomination. Or why did Timothy Geithner get to be the uh, Treasury Secretary? Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Well, that's all I got, Tom. I love the show. Bye, right, Tom. Thank you. Make any sense to me? Tom, Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show now with shorter commercial breaks. Fewer commercials, more phone calls. All different story around here. At 1 800 5 800 Tom, and now in Los Angeles, number one in men 2554. Number one rated talk radio program in adults 2554. We're number one. That's it. It's one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Well, uh, now Barack Obama has had three tax cheats. That's what I'm going to call them, tax cheats. Three deadbeats that he's nominated for cabinet positions. One actually got the cabinet position. Two others have stepped aside, including uh, former Senator Tom Daschle, uh, who owes $140,000 in taxes. you got to be kidding me. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Vincent on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Vincent. Karen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Good. I have just a quick little idea. Why don't we make Tom Daschle work for free for two years? Well, I, I think we sh I think Tom Daschle should get the treatment that's prescribed by law, which is you, you sure work the money off by making big rocks into little rocks at places yeah. like Leavenworth and Lompoc <laughs> and other places like that. Yeah. You know, you, you but people who don't pay one hundred and forty thousand dollars in taxes, they don't belong as the Secretary of Health and Human Services. They belong in prison. Yeah. Very true. Just a quick little, just a quick little thought. You know, hey. Take a mid-American salary and see what can uh, you know you can do on that. Thank you, Karen. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm doing great. All right. Oh, well, listen. I've got a serious problem with this. I don't really see what the big deal is. Um, our country is in a huge crisis right now, and Obama has these people he considers the best and brightest for these jobs. And now he has to take his second or third choices and even create a list that he didn't even imagine having to make because he had this shining beacon of a person in mind. And now we all have to suffer because of, of them not being able to take the position over $900 for this killer for lady. I mean, I just think it's ridiculous. Well, because you can't have any credibility asking people to pay more in taxes for services if you don't pay the taxes yourself. Well, I just think that uh, if I was drowning, I wouldn't care who saved me, honestly. Uh, if you really believe Timothy Geithner is going to save you when you're drowning, you got another guest coming. All right. I mean, well, I, I, you know, he may or may not be good as a Treasury Secretary, but he is certainly no Jesus Christ, okay? He's he's a guy that uh, that Obama likes. But I certainly wouldn't say he's Warren Buffett or some kind of uh, genius, and by the way, how do you head up the Treasury Department and the IRS when you don't pay taxes yourself? This is like if people from the fire department, if, if your fire chief had been convicted of, uh, of, of, of arson. You can't have that. Maybe I care more about the job the person can do than... than I their... care about the job they do, but here's the thing. This is directly related. I'll tell you what. If Timothy Geithner smoked pot, I wouldn't care. If Timothy Geithner tore the tear off his mattress under penalty of law, I wouldn't care, okay? Timothy Geithner is the Treasury Secretary. He's in charge of the United States Treasury. And he himself did not pay his taxes. Well, let me make another point. It's directly related to the job. He had professionals doing his taxes. 
I don't care. Your name is signed to that tax return. You know, if you get audited, and your tax return shows you short by ten thousand, twenty thousand, or in the case of Tom Dash, one hundred and forty thousand dollars. They they don't take your uh, assertion that you went to uh, uh, to H and R Block or that your accountant was a loon. They don't they don't care. Your name was signed to it, and you are responsible. All right. Well, I, the by the way, Philippe I don't know. I don't know if you've ever been audited. I have. I have. I have not. Well, I have, okay? And by the way, I was audited, and they didn't find a thing. But that didn't stop them from auditing me. So let me tell you something. As someone who's been audited, I refuse to accept the idea that somebody who didn't pay his taxes is going to be telling me what to do. All right. Well, I think that in the case of Killifer, she owed the taxes in 2003, and then she paid them in 2005. And it's only nine hundred dollars, and I don't see why. I don't care. Paying your taxes is the law. It's the All law, right. and these people are in charge of enforcing the law. Well, we all have to suffer for it. Is my point. We're not suffering for it. Do you really think she's the only person who could do that job? And if Barack Obama doesn't have a reasonable backup, whose fault is that? He created that cabinet. Just for her, it didn't exist. Before. I don't care. She's she's a, she's a deadbeat who did not pay her taxes on time. She did not obey the law, and that's it. It's that simple. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Kurt on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. How are you? Doing great. I think this is the perfect example of these congressmen and senators believing that they're completely entitled to make the laws and run the show on the taxpayers' back. I'm a CPA, and I practice in the tax area, and to prove fraud in these types of situations is very, very difficult from the IRS's point of view. However, uh, they come very, very close if, if, if they're brought up on audit to being asserted that they might have committed fraud here. Well, I, I mean, I, how do you feel about a, a Treasury Secretary who doesn't pay his own taxes? It's absolutely ridiculous that he has oversight over the IRS. In fact, uh, one of the funny uh, things about that is that how can we uh, administer the tax laws and hold other people that are under audit currently uh, and administer penalties and interest to these individuals in the same fashion as it was administered to Geithner? How much is uh, Tom Daschle going to pay in penalties and interest? I think the, the number I was reading was about $10,000 in interest. However, the penalties are 5% per month for not filing, and then there's another 5% for incorrect filing. So it could probably max out at a 25% penalty on the 138000 This is somebody who was going to be the uh, champion of, of raising our taxes to pay for nationalized or socialized health care. And, and he can't pay his own taxes. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. But these tax shenanigans that are going on with this congressman and senators, I think, like you had said earlier in the show, are a tip in the iceberg. When they start to look at offshore accounts, yeah, they were had some rumblings in the Congress a while ago about sh shutting down tax shelters offshore and shutting down some of these preferred treatments for rich individuals who are able to take advantage of these laws. Well, when that started filtering its way through Congress and the Senate, all of a sudden it was shut down, and I kind of wonder why. Is it because because the new guys that are in the Senate and the Congress haven't been able to rape the benefits of that yet, and now they haven't gotten around to it. What is exactly going on with that? That's a very good question, Kurt. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. How you doing, Tom? Doing great. Hey, i got to let you know, after this whole election and, you know, all the change and hope you had, uh, i got to say I could call you dad again. You're totally calling it how it is. I love you, brother. I uh, believe me. I'm always objective about these things. Uh, unlike the conservative talk shows, where the host uh, defends uh, their heroes, uh, no matter how they screw up and no matter what they do wrong, um, uh, you know, the, just the fact that I voted for Obama doesn't give him a free pass. It no, doesn't. It Not on this program. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. I love you for it, man. Scott, thank you for that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Justin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Justin. 
Hey, yeah, so I'm an equity analyst, and uh, I'm on the front lines of this stuff every day and just witnessing the fraud and corruption and greed that's been going on for the last couple of years over the Federal Reserve, Treasury, President, mm-hmm. and whatnot. And it's just sad to see. I mean, you know, I think the, the biggest risk we face is, you know, with unemployment headed where it's going and housing, you know, the deflation and everything that, we, that we're seeing and the amount of money they want to throw at this problem, you know, with taxpayer dollars. If you're at the top of the house, you know, are, are having someone in who hasn't paid the taxes, who's to say that uh, eventually the rest of America follows suit, you know? It's, uh, it's a big risk, I think. I, I Well, I, I totally agree with you. Uh, what happens if other people decide to follow the leader and decide they don't want to pay their taxes either? Exactly. And you get to the point, you know... Uh, I mean, we've already yeah. got enough deadbeats in this country not paying their mortgages, not paying their credit card bills, people asking for bailouts. Uh, yeah, this is the last frontier. When you're taking people who don't pay their taxes and nominating them to high-level cabinet positions, I mean, it's total anarchy. No, you, you got it. And I think, you know, if you, how's the IRS going to follow through and, and try and audit every single person that doesn't pay their taxes? And, uh, you know, I really think we're headed for a, a pretty significant uh, further down leg in the economy and, and with unemployment, like I said, going where it's going, I, I think by the end of the year we're at least at 10, 11 percent on the official reported number, which isn't even the most accurate. But, you know, it's, it's an ugly situation. And I think they got to really be careful. I think Obama should come in right now, remove Geithner, go in and do a full audit on everyone in Congress going back, I don't know, three years. Just, you know, have some credibility for once. No one has any faith in it. it's going on at the top of the house and the markets are going to be a reflection of confidence. And there's no confidence anywhere because we can't trust anybody. So. I agree with you. Uh, thank you for that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Father. How are you doing? Doing okay, son. I think this is a complete abuse of power on Barack Obama. He's up on his high horse. Everyone is doing whatever he says, and he thinks he can get away with anything. Well, that certainly uh, is the impression I get when he found out that Tom Daschle and Timothy Geithner hadn't paid their taxes, and he continued to support them. Absolutely. He needed to drop them right there, turn 180 degrees in the direction. It, it you know, really, by, by it, 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 it's a terrible example, and it really pisses me off. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Here is now six days a week, every Saturday, 2 to 6 p.m. Pacific time on 97.1 FM Talk and at blowmeuptop.com. As well, uh, 3 to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday as you head home. So go to 97.1 anytime. Hear our program live when it's on. And of course, if you can't hear us on the radio, go to blowmeuptop.com. Click on the Listen Live button. You'll find us. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. 3 Barack Obama nominees for top-level cabinet positions, in my view, are deadbeats. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, I'd ask you how you're doing, but you know the answer, right? I do indeed. I think, you know why there's no change and nothing's going to happen different is because Obama is graduated from the same school of everybody else, which is the school of crooked politics. And an honest politician, regardless of the party or the race, is like a vegetarian great white shark. It doesn't exist. It's just ridiculous. I think the only way we're going to get the change that everyone wants is somebody completely outside the political fold that's to step up the plate. I don't know who it would be or how it would pull it off unless you run for office. I don't know. I mean, I'll tell you what. If I were if I were the president, the minute I find out somebody has not paid even one dime in taxes, they're done. They are it, done. No it, security it, clearances. Uh, no, no cabinet positions. No nothing. Forget it. But you see, the thing is, is, is I think it's kind of like that, that little cartoon, the kids' cartoon, Madagascar, where the lion was like, he wouldn't eat his buddies. But once he's on a tropical island, everybody looked like a steak. Oh, well. These politicians, they go with these noble causes, but they have to shake the hands next to them. They're in a, a, a room full of other meat-eating politicians. Either you eat meat or you, you just get kicked out of the game. And I think in order to rise to the level where you can even be considered for president, senator, congressman, house, or anything, you have to be a meteor, or else they just don't tolerate you. They don't let you live in their little world. That's why I don't think the change is coming. Terrible. Now, yeah, I'll tell you what, this is not a good start. Not a good start. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Harry on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Long time listener, first time caller. Going okay. 
Hey, uh, so I can, I'm thinking that if you want to get someone who's ex, uh, who has experience and it has uh, the talent, you have to draw a line in the sand. I mean, yeah, it is wrong what they're doing, but I have a feeling that 90% of the people on top, you know, and a lot of them are really smart and have great connections, and, you know, have fudged, uh, fudged, fudged it a bit, and they, they probably feel yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, no, no, but here's, here's the deal. Uh, I don't care if they broke other laws, okay? I don't care if they have parking tickets. I don't care if they, uh, uh, they jaywalked. Uh, I don't care if they uh, did crystal math. I couldn't care less. Okay, what I care about is stuff that is directly related to what they do. Paying taxes is directly related to being in government. It's directly related. It is not unrelated. It is directly related because your salary will be paid by taxpayers. Because you will ask people to pay taxes for programs that you want to uh, to, to champion. You can't be in government and not pay your taxes. You can't. Yeah, okay. I understand how you feel that way, but you can't, and you can't ease off that. I, I understand that, and it really, it really sucks that I would, I would guess. I mean, if everyone got checked, I would, I would say that ninety percent, maybe even more, probably came. Well, out guess what? More than guess what? Uh, that that works out perfectly because ninety nine point nine percent of everybody won't be in a cabinet position. So the people we choose from should be part of that ten percent. Uh, what if they are just? The nerds who suck. Yeah, I mean, they're not. <laughs> I, I, the, the idea that anybody who's competent has cheated on their taxes is, is really outrageous. Uh, I've been audited, you know. I have been audited. I know what it's like to be audited. I've been through it. I have had to produce boxes and boxes of paper. I have had to produce letters justifying things I've done. And I know what I have to go through. And I'm telling you that when after I was audited, I was clean as a whistle. But if you're a politician, they would never audit you. And, you know, and, first of all, not all of these people were politicians. Only Tom Daschle was a politician. What about that lady? I heard she only had like nine hundred dollars. I don't care how much it is. You have to. The law is you have to pay your taxes. It's directly related to being in government. That's it. <laughs> All right, Tom. You can't I, I have you. firemen who start fires. You can't have cops who assault people. You can't have people in government who don't pay their taxes. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a hard line you're taking, but okay. I mean, yes, a... and Barack Obama said this would be the highest standards we've ever seen. Right. All right, man. That's I'm what he saying. said. Know someone who's cheated on their taxes. And uh, that's not the point. Barack Obama said these would be the highest standards ever. Right. He said it. He did. He did. He did. And he, he's he, not doing it. Very high. Uh, but you know, what if you set the standard so high that you get stuck? With oh this? come on! Yeah, you know, I, let's see the proof of that. Let's see I, it. I, I want, are you telling me he's been he's been in office two weeks? Are you telling me that these are the only people who could do these jobs? I don't know. I don't, I'm not in the Well, fine. Well, when we, I'll tell you what. When they come back to us and they say that every competent, qualified person for this position has not paid his taxes, we can discuss it. In each case, we've had one person propose to us. Right. Okay. All right. That's, that's very fair. I mean, if I can see 10 people and, you know, he says, look, here are the 10 people in America. Nine of them have fudged it a little bit here or there, and here's the one who hasn't. You know, you guys make a choice. I mean, does anybody believe yeah. Timothy Geithner is Benjamin Graham or is some kind of uh, mathematical genius or some kind of oh. genius? Has he won a Nobel Prize or something? Who is this guy? I've never heard of him. I've never heard of That's him. my point. Who is this guy? you telling me you can't find a competent person who's paid his taxes to run the United States Treasury? Yeah, you, 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 I, I'm, you, who knows? I mean, it's one lever. I mean, maybe it is an easy job. I don't know. You cannot be in the position of enforcing that law. Right. You cannot be in the in position of you cannot hold the power to audit other people when you yourself haven't paid. Right. right. I, I completely agree with that. Uh, I agree with that um, in terms of ideals. Practically, I I don't know. I'm I'm going to toss up the toss up, but I, I really do agree with you. I wish I hope we can get to that level, and, and uh, I'm with you on that, Tom. All right, Harry. Thank you for the call. Here's Pete on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay. Right on. Uh, yeah, I just had some commentary regarding this, actually. 
I can't agree more. You know, I didn't vote for the guy, but I'm kind of upset that I didn't because I would have been committing my vote to something historic. But, you know, uh, I can't agree more. These guys uh, that can't pay their own taxes, and yet they're going to be put in charge of receiving the tax money, um, I feel that they are indebted to uh, Joe Taxpayer, you and me. But uh, besides that, I mean, Obama has this incredible wealth of political capital right now, and he's just blowing it on morons right now that can't even manage their own checkbooks. Come on. You're supposed to blow your political capital on trying to nationalize health care or something like that. <laughs> you don't blow it on nominating uh, deadbeats to office. Come on. Well, I, I think calling them deadbeats is, I mean, I, I don't want to... Uh, That's what a deadbeat is. That's what a deadbeat is. Yeah, yeah. I mean... That's what a I deadbeat is. Dead. People who don't pay. People who don't pay their taxes are deadbeats. People who don't pay their child support are called deadbeats. Yeah, I was late last year, and uh, I paid my dues, so, you know, I guess I was a deadbeat for a couple months there, but I got out of that hole pretty quickly. Well, but you were not being nominated to, uh, to a high-level cabinet position. Sure, my friend. That's the difference. Thank you for the call, Shauna, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tommy, baby. How you doing? Well, I'm doing okay, dear. <laughs> just calling in. I just I love you. First time, long time. Uh, I just wanted to call in and let you know I couldn't agree with you more. It pisses me off because this is their specialty. And really, like, you couldn't get your taxes done on time. I mean, this is what, you know, supposedly you're a specialist in this department. I mean, it's, it's just a double slap in the face. It's kind of like, you know, when that, um, his name is slipping my mind, but when that guy, you know, he's over there, you know, getting prostitutes, but yet, you know, what a hypocrite he's out there and he fought against it for so long. I, I mean, mean come just, on. You just ask him one question. Ain't you got people? Hey. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.